About one in 10 middle and high school students reported using e-cigarettes in a 2022 national survey. A new study shows serious respiratory symptoms may not take long to appear after a young person starts using those e-cigs. Mandy Gaither shares results from the research and what one of the study's authors wants people to take away from it. The health risks of long-term e-cigarette use are still being studied, but new research is shining a light on the impact on the respiratory health of young people. E-cigarettes are by no means risk-free. E-cigarettes carry a potential respiratory risk. Elena Tackett and her colleagues carried out a study looking at symptoms young people reported in school-based surveys after about a month of e-cigarette use. In this study, we found that past 30 day e-cigarette use was associated with symptoms of shortness of breath and, and symptoms of bronchitis. Those symptoms were reported after e-cigarette use regardless of the use of cannabis, traditional cigarettes, or secondhand smoke exposure, which Tackett says signals that vaping is harmful on its own. Any young person who's not using any other products really should be aware and make a thoughtful choice before initiating e-cigarette use. The CDC says most e-cigarettes contain nicotine, which is highly addictive and can also harm the developing brain of a young person and impact their ability to pay attention, learn, control impulses, and have a negative effect on their mood. That was Mandy Gaither reporting, and the researchers are now going beyond getting information from surveys. They are looking at biomarkers from young participants to examine daily e-cigarette use and how it affects lung function.